Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today, as usual, I am going to deliver my lecture on the topic Water scarcity in Pakistan. Before going to start this lesson and to translate a passage from the same lesson, let me tell you about the objectives that you are supposed to attend in the completion of this lesson. First of all, as usual, you should be able to make MCQs out of the text and the end of this lesson. Secondly, translation of the same lesson. Third, thirdly, we have short questions which are given at the end of this lesson and you should be able to answer those questions. Uh, the last one, uh, that is grammar, grammar which is very important, objective of the lesson. You should know about the grammatical structures which have been used inside the text. Okay, now let me translate the same. Before going to start translation, uh, I will also present a brief sketch of the previous lesson. Uh, we have discussed that there are different resources of water in Pakistan. The main resources including the peaks of Himalaya and Karakoram. Apart from the, those resources, we have some other sources as well. We have rainfall, barish. Secondly, we have underground waters and we have also surface water. So these are the sources of water in Pakistan. Uh, now let's translate the passage from the same lesson. Water scarcity in Pakistan. Pakistan may paniki killat. Scarcity means killat ya kami. The problems faced by the water sector, wo masail jiska samna kya by the water sector, jo pani ka shoba hai. Yani Pakistan mein jo pani ka shoba hai. Sector means shoba. Us ujis masail ka wo samna karta hai in the country mulk mein are many. वो बहुत सारे हैं यानी पानी का जो शुबा है पाकिस्तान में या मुल्क में जो पानी का शुबा है वो जिन मसाइल का सामना करता है वो क्या है बहुत ज़्यादा है आर मैनी वो बहुत ज़्यादा है एक्यूट और वो मसाइल बहुत शदीद भी है एक्यूट मीन शदीद एंड सीरियस और बहुत संजीदा है यानी पाकिस्तान में या मुल्क में पानी का जो शुबा है वो जिन मसाइल का सामना कर रहा है वो बहुत क्या है संजीदा है वो बहुत शदीद है और वो बहुत सारे मसाइल है मैनी बहुत सारे मसाइल है देर फोर इसलिए बिल्डिंग ऑफ मोर रिजर्व इसलिए ज्यादा जहायर का क्या कि जो तामीर है बिल्डिंग इज तामीर यानी ज्यादा जहायर रिजर्व मीन जहायर ज्यादा जहायर की जो तामीर है एंड इफेक्टिव मैनेजमेंट और जो क्या है मौसर इंतजामी क्या है स्ट्रेटजी है मैनेजमेंट मीन्स इंतजामी इफेक्टिव मीन्स मौसर स्ट्रेटजी मीन्स हमत अमली आर द नीड्स ऑफ द आर वो क्या है वक्त की जरूरत है आर मीन्स वक्त नीड्स मीन्स जरूरत तो इससे क्या साबित हुआ कि इसलिए यानी ज्यादा जहायर का की तामीर और मौसर इंतजामी हमत अमली जो है वो वक्त की जरूरत है यानी पाकिस्तान में जो पानी का जो शुबा है वो बहुत सारे शदीद और संजीदा मसाइल का वो सामना कर रहा है अभी इन मसाइल को हल करने के लिए क्या करना चाहिए हमें चाहिए कि हम क्या करें ज्यादा से ज्यादा जहायर बनाए पानी के ज्यादा से ज्यादा जहायर बनाए और हमें चाहिए कि हम मौसर इंतजामी हमत अमली बनाए क्योंकि ये क्या है ये वक्त की जरूरत है नीड्स ऑफ द वक्त की जरूरत है द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन इम्प्लीमेंटेशन मीन्स नफाज नाफिज करना लागू करना द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ दीज रिकमेंडेशन रिकमेंडेशन मीन्स सिफारिशात एनी थिंग दैट यू सजेस्ट दैट यू रिकमेंड वी कॉल इट रिकमेंडेशन यानी द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन नफाज ऑफ दीज रिकमेंडेशन इन सिफारिशात का जो नफाज है विल इनेबल ये क्या हमें काबिल बनाएगा द कंट्री यानी मुल्क को काबिल बनाएगा इनेबल मीन्स काबिल बनाना लाइक बनाना द कंट्री मुल्क को टू ओवरकम 
کہ وہ قابو پا سکے اور کم از قابو پانا دا چیلنجز خطرات کا اس خطرات پہ کا قابو پا سکے یعنی اگر ہم کیا اگر ملک جو ہے ان سفارشات کو کیا کرے ان کو نافذ کرے تو یہ کیا کرے گا یہ ان خطرات پہ قابو پانے کے لیے کیا ہو جائے گا اس قابو پانے کے قابل ہو جائے گا مطلب ہم نے پہلے لیکچر میں وہ سارے سفارشات جو ہے جو ریکمنڈیشنز ہیں ہم اس کو ڈسکس کر چکے ہیں تو اس میں ہمیں بتایا جا رہا ہے کہ اگر ان سفارشات کو نافذ کیا جائے تو یہ جو کیا ہے ہمارے سامنے جو پانی کے چیلنجز ہیں خطرات ہیں اس پہ ہم کیا کر چکیں گے ملک جو ہے اس بات کے قابل ہو جائے گا انیبل قابل ہو جائے گا کہ وہ اس خطرات پہ قابو پا سکے اور کم از قابو پانا اینڈ ایچیو اور ملک اس بات کے قابل ہو جائے گا کہ وہ کیا کر سکے ایچیو وہ حاصل کر سکے گا دا آبجیکٹوز ان مقاصد کو آف سسٹینیبل پائیدار ڈیولپمنٹ یعنی ملک اس بات کے قابل ہو جائے گا کہ وہ پائیدار کیا ہے جو کیا ہے جو مقصد ہے مقاصد ہے پائیدار ترقی کے اینڈ مینجمنٹ اور انتظام کے آف واٹر ریسورسز پانی کے وسائل کے یعنی ملک اس بات کے قابل ہو جائے گا اگر ملک ان سفارشات پہ عمل کرتا ہے تو ہمارے سامنے جتنے بھی چیلنجز ہے خطرات ہے ملک اس کو کیا کر دے جائے گا اس پہ قابو پانے کے قابل ہو جائے گا اور دوسرا یہ کہ ملک اس بات کے قابل ہو جائے گا کہ وہ پائیدار ترقی کے جو مقاصد ہے اور جو پانی کے وسائل کا جو انتظام ہے اس کو حاصل کر سکے گا اس پہ قابو پا سکے گا مینجمنٹ مینس انتظام واٹر ریسورسز مینس پانی کے وسائل اٹ از سیڈ یہ کہا جاتا ہے دیٹ دا وارس آف ٹوینٹی فسٹ سینچری یہ کہا جاتا ہے کہ اکیسویں صدی کے جو جنگیں کی جو جنگیں ہیں ول بی فوٹ اس کو لڑا جائے گا یعنی اکیس صدی کے جو جنگ کی جو جنگیں ہیں اس کو لڑا جائے گا ول بی فوٹ فار واٹر پانی کے لیے یہ جنگیں ہوگی یعنی اکیس صدی کی جو جنگیں ہوگی جو ملکوں کے درمیان جو جنگیں ہوگی تو کس بات پہ ہوگی وہ پانی کے مسئلے پہ ہوگی وہ جنگی جنگیں لڑی جائے گی پانی کے لیے وی شوڈ دیئر فور ہمیں چاہیے اس لیے ہمیں چاہیے دیئر فور مینس اس لیے اس لیے ہمیں چاہیے سیو ناؤ ہمیں چاہیے کہ اب ہم پانی بچائے سیو مینس بچانا ہمیں بھی چاہیے کہ ہم پانی کو بچائے اب ناؤ اب ٹو پریونٹ وار تاکہ ہم جنگ کی کیا کر سکے پریونٹ اس کو روک سکے اس کی روک تام کر سکے پریونٹ مینس روکنا روک تام کرنا تو ہمیں چاہیے کہ ابھی سے ہم پانی بچائے تاکہ ہم جنگ کی روک تام کر سکے میں اس کو اس ایک مرتبہ پھر ریپیٹ کرتا ہوں اس میں ہمیں بتایا جا رہا ہے کہ پاکستان میں جو پانی کے شعبے ہیں وہ بہت سارے مسائل کا کیا کر رہی ہے وہ بہت سارے مسائل ہے جو بہت شدید ہے بہت سنجیدہ ہے اس کو کیا کر دے اس کا سامنا کر رہا ہے اس لیے ہمیں چاہیے کہ زیادہ سے زیادہ پانی کے ظاہر بنائے اور مؤثر انتظامی جو ہے حکمت عملی بنائے کیونکہ یہ ہمارے لیے کیا ہے وقت کی ضرورت ہے ابھی اس کے علاوہ ہمیں بتایا جا رہے ہیں کہ ہمیں چاہیے کہ وہ سفارشات جو ہم آلریڈی ڈسکس کر چکے ہیں ہمیں اس سفارشات کو نافذ کرنا چاہیے تاکہ یہ ملک کو کیا اس بات کے قابل بنائے کہ جو ہمارے سامنے پانی کے جو خطرات ہے چیلنجز ہے اس پہ قابو پا سکے اور اس کے علاوہ جو ہے ملک اس بات کے قابل ہو سکے کہ کیا کہ حاصل کر سکے کس چیز کو ان مقاصد کو حاصل کر سکے جو پائیدار ترقی اور پانی کے وسائل کا جو انتظام ہے اس پہ کیا اس پہ قابو پا سکے اوکے اٹ از سیڈ دیٹ دا وارز آف ٹوینٹی اور یہ بھی بتایا جا رہا ہے کہ اکیسویں صدی کے جو کی جو جنگیں ہوگی وہ پانی کے مسئلے پہ ہوگی یعنی ملکوں کے درمیان جو جنگیں ہوگی وہ کس کس کی وجہ سے ہوگی پانی کی وجہ سے ہوگی I hope that uh, you have understood translation of the same passage. Now I will discuss some grammatical structures inside the same passage. The problems faced by the water sector, the problem. Now you see we have the problems. 
the problems this is a noun phrase this is a noun phrase in this uh, phrase the keyword is noun problems and the though it is known as article we call it definite article but here it was as a determiner determiner is any word which introduce a noun which tells us about a noun which modify a noun so the is working as a determiner combined with determiner plus noun we call it noun phrase but in noun phrase remember noun phrase is always working as a noun and the keyword in noun phrase would be a noun so here the keyword is the noun problems faced by water by the water sector faced by the water sector now you see faced by the water sector by the water sector once again by the water sector now you see this is a phrase which starts with the preposition by and ends with the noun sector sector is a noun so by the water sector combinedly we call it prepositional phrase because it starts with a preposition and ends with a noun sector so we call it a prepositional phrase and this one is noun phrase now you see in the middle we have uh, i mean to say uh, we have this a uh, verb we have this a uh, verb in the country are many are many now you see many is working as an adjective the means it's we have another phrase as well before going to discuss this one let me discuss this phrase as well by the water sector in the country now you see in the country though it starts with a preposition ends with noun so basically this is a prepositional phrase but here it works as a as a modify as an adjective phrase because it tells us about sector sector in the country sector in the country so this phrase modifies or tells us about the word sector so this is working as a relative phrase or what we call a it is also known as post modifier and it is also known as adjective phrase so this is working as a adjective so we call it adjective phrase basically it is a preposition phrase because it starts with a preposition it is with noun country clear now the next word we have many as i told you earlier many is working as an adjective because it tells us about uh, problems it tells us about problems clear so problem is noun and many tells us about the noun problem so we call it a uh, adjective the next word we have acute 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 is also an adjective because it tells us about uh, problems then we have serious serious is also working as an adjective this also working as an adjective serious many and acute these are three adjectives which are modifying uh, a noun problem at the same time so these are three adjectives therefore therefore is a subordinate conjunction we call it subordinate conjunction it combines two clauses okay so we call it conjunction therefore building of mode is a wise and effective building now you see here this building is working as a gerund we call it gerund it is not working as a verb because if it works as a verb it will be preceded by a helping verb agar ye verb ke ki jagah kaam karta hai to isse pehle ek helping verb bhi aayega to phir ye verb ka kaam karta hai lekin you see we don't have any helping verb over here so that is why this is working as a noun and this noun is known as gerund we call it gerund of mode is a wise and effective more more is working as an adjective because it tells us about reservoirs reservoirs is a noun so more modify this noun reservoir so we call it adjective the next word we have effective effective is also an adjective it tells us about management management is a noun we call it abstract noun because it has a uh, no physical existence so we call it abstract noun and the same abstract noun is modified by the word effective and effective is working as an adjective we call it adjective 
now strategy management effective management strategy now strategy is also now strategy is also now the main word in this phrase we have strategy when we call effective then management is basically a noun but here it also modifies the noun strategy so management is also working as an adjective in this sentence for the management strategy management strategy so management also modify the noun strategy so strategy is noun and management is working as an adjective are the needs of the r of the r now you see needs of the r of the r once again we have a prepositional phrase starts with a preposition ends with noun r so we call it prepositional phrase the implementation of these recommendations the implementation of these uh, recommendation now you see we have this phrase which starts from where which starts from the implementation of these recommendation this is mean these all words combined we call them a noun phrase it is a noun phrase the implementation now you see the main word we have implementation this is the key noun which is working as a keyword inside this noun phrase of these recommendation of these tells us about uh, recommendations so combinedly we call it a noun phrase clear but the word these in itself these tells us about recommendations so these is an adjective these this those that these are the words which are working as a demonstrative adjective we call it demonstrative adjective so these is working as demonstrative adjective will enable enable is working as a verb is a main verb well do you know well is working as a model auxiliary verb it works as a helping verb so this is a model auxiliary verb and it works as a helping verb in this sentence the country to overcome now you see to overcome to is followed by a verb to is followed by a verb when to is followed by a verb we call it infinitive we have discussed it many time so many times before so to is followed by a verb so we call it infinitive and infinitive is working as a as a noun the challenge is and achieve and is coordinate conjunction and is coordinate conjunction we have subordinate conjunction we have correlative conjunction so and and is coordinate conjunction we combines two independent clauses two independent clauses are combined by coordinate conjunction so and is also a coordinate conjunction to achieve objectives of sustainable development now you see sustainable the word sustainable tells us about development development is noun so sustainable is working as an adjective this is an adjective because it modifies the noun development and management of water reservoir management now you see management is a noun of water reservoir of water reservoir is also working as an adjective phrase because it modifies the noun management so of water reservoir this is known as adjective phrase now it is said it is said generally it is said the sentence become a in passive it is said it is in passive voice clear so the whole structure belongs to passive voice be fought for water will be fought for water will be fought once again is a, a passive structure we should therefore therefore is also a subordinate conjunction so to prevent to prevent this is an infinitive infinitive is working as a noun i hope that you have understood these grammatical structures along with translation thank you and have a nice day ahead